So I'm laying in the emergency room. My chest is hurting. I'm sweating. I can hardly breathe. I know they're about to shock me. I know they're supposed to sedate me, but I feel the um, medicine run down my arm. It didn't work. I can hear the nurse telling, the nurse is saying, oh my God, he's gonna feel it. I hear the all clear and I wanna yell, I'm awake, I'm awake. And I look up and I see my wife I can see her eyes, I can see her afraid. And then, and then they shock me. I'm like, God, it hurts so much. And I look, and the fear in my wife's eyes was worse than the pain I felt. And I hear the nurses talking again and saying it, it, it didn't work, he needs another shock. I'm a respiratory therapist at Hanford, and I had found myself in the ER with uh, chest pain. It started hurting when I was uh, helping with the C-section. And we got through that, and I had a student with me, and he followed me all the way back from the, the OR. And my goal was just to get to the RT office where I had family. I had my RT brothers and sisters there, and I was clinging to the walls and just bouncing on the hallways all the way there. I, I, I walk into the door, I stumble, and I see James's eyes, my boss James, and the, the, the look in his eyes told me I was worse than what I thought I was. And they, and they work they work together as a group, as a family, to get me into the ER. And they, they make sure that my wife is there. Riley is on the phone, my cell phone, with my wife to let her know she needs to be there so that she knows what's going on. And through all that pain and that fear, I knew I was safe. No matter how much it hurt, no matter how much I was scared, I knew I was safe because I was with family. I had James and, and Riley at my headside. I could hear them talking and patting my shoulder. Sandra was there ready to get my wife when she showed up to the ER. And when I woke up from the second shock, being wheeled up to the ICU, there was Joanne waiting for me to make sure I was okay. Tim took care of me that night, and he was there telling stories to my wife, then my, my parents when they showed up. And then when I finally made it out to the floors, to the care, um, Joyce that evening, Maria in the day, and. Janessa the next morning, all made sure my wife and my family was taken care of. I knew I was with family. I didn't feel like I was just a patient, just a number. I was with my Adventist family. Thank you. <laughs>